Ten English phrases for renting an apartment from EspressoEnglish.net. Number one, I checked the classifieds, but I didn't see anything in my price range. The classifieds is the section of a newspaper with listings of items, cars, and houses to buy, sell, and rent. Your price range is the amount of money you hope or expect to pay. For example, my price range is twelve hundred to fifteen hundred dollars. Number two, the apartment is fully furnished and has a balcony overlooking the park. If an apartment is furnished, it means it already has furniture, beds. Tables, chairs, etc. If the apartment does not have these things, then it is unfurnished. There is also a semi-furnished apartment, meaning it has some furniture but not everything. In this case, you need to ask for more details. A balcony is a small external area, like in the picture. Overlooking the park means that you can see the park from the balcony. Number three, I can't afford to live there alone, so I'm looking for a roommate. I can't afford means I don't have enough money. A roommate is a person who will share the apartment and split, divide the cost of renting it. Number four. We're looking for a spacious apartment in an upscale neighborhood. Spacious is another word for big, an apartment with lots of space. An upscale neighborhood is an area with a lot of rich people and very nice restaurants and stores. Number five. To move in, you need to pay the first and last month's rent plus a security deposit. The phrasal verb "move in" means to enter an apartment or house to live there. When you leave, you are moving out. For many apartments, you need to pay two months' rent, the first and last month's rent, in addition to a security deposit. That's an amount of money that you get back at the end of your time living there, if the apartment is in good condition. If you leave the apartment in bad condition, or if you break something, then the cost of repairs will be paid from the security deposit. Number six. On average, the utilities come to about a hundred and fifty dollars a month. Utilities are things like electricity, water, and heat, the basic needs of the apartment. The phrasal verb "come to" in this context means total. For example, if the electricity is seventy dollars, the water is thirty-five dollars, and the heat is forty-five dollars, then it comes to a hundred and fifty dollars total. On average means in general. Sometimes the total might be higher or lower than one hundred and fifty dollars. It is not an exact number. Number seven. There's no washing machine or dryer in the apartment building, but there's a laundromat nearby. A laundromat is a place where you can pay money to use the washing machines and dryers to clean your clothes. Number eight. My sister is subletting her studio apartment for three months while she travels to Europe. If you sublet your apartment, it means you rent the apartment to another person temporarily while you are traveling. A studio apartment is a small apartment that has only one major room with the bed, kitchen, TV, etc. If you need a bigger apartment, you can get a one-bedroom apartment. 
That means it has two major rooms, a living room and one bedroom. There are also two bedroom and three bedroom apartments. Number nine. The landlord is offering a two year lease with an option to renew. The landlord, for a man, or landlady, for a woman, is the person who owns the apartment from whom you are renting it. You pay the rent every month to the landlord or landlady. A lease is a formal contract or agreement for you to live in and use the apartment for a specific period of time. If you renew the lease, it means you extend it for an additional time period. Number 10. The building is a bit run down, but the apartment itself was recently renovated. Run down means the building is not in good condition. It is a little bit old and not well maintained. However, the individual apartment was recently renovated. That means everything was fixed, redesigned, and made new. Other words for this are refurbished or remodeled. Thanks for watching English Tips from Espresso English. If you liked this video, please share it.